Hey, it's David Elder, and today on Texas Eats, get ready to spread some fun here at the 2024 Worst Fest as we travel around trying some of the best bites and get ready for a huge giveaway you're not going to want to miss. Get ready to write down the secret word and enter for your chance to win the huge Worst Fest giveaway. Plus, we go on a food tour to check out some of the best bites you can expect for 2024. And get your thinking caps on. We share fun facts and trivia about Worst Fest you won't want to miss. All that and more right now on Texas Eats. The city of New Braunfels has been celebrating Worst Fest for more than 60 years. From its humble beginnings, Wars Fest has transformed into the extraordinary 10-day salute to sausage it is today, drawing thousands of visitors daily to the renowned Wars Fest festival grounds. In 1961, Ed Grist, the city meat inspector, sizzled up an idea for a festival that would honor the beloved sausage. What started as a one-day event soon evolved into a week-long Worst Week and ultimately became the Grand Worst Fest. The festival gained momentum with each passing year. The entire Worst Hall was leased, and renowned entertainers like my and Florin joined the celebration and filled the hall with sounds of accordion polka. In 1968, the festival expanded to a 10-day celebration, solidifying its reputation as a world-class event. Joining us now is Jimmy Tucker with the Downtown Rotary of New Braunfels. Thank you so much, Jimmy, for having us back here. What are you guys doing for 2024-2025? We do about four major events every year. Uh, we raise money here in town in the Kamau area. Uh, we support different charities. Now you're going to be making two items for us right now. You're going to be making the worst intoshin and then an item called the Reuben Yes, sir. And you're going to build it out for us. What's the first thing you do to make these items? And so we take our pita, which is the first thing on the uh, worst intoshin, and then we're going to take our brat that we put on top, and we're going to put our sauerkraut on here. And we have different names as you go along. This is a fully loaded one, Ooh. and so we have different ones where they're topless, bottomless, things like that. <laughs> no, we gotta it, go fully loaded, that's not, the one. It's not as bad as you think it sounds, <laughs> uh, but what it does is people can say, hey, we don't want the onions and, and peppers, we don't want the sauerkraut, we want something else. All right, the next one, the Reuben Tasha. We take our rye uh, pita bread, we put our white cheese on there, it's just like a Reuben. Okay. Put our cheese down in here, and then we come over here to our uh, pastrami, Oh, wonderful. And you're making this all in the booth right here. Yes, sir. Right behind us, you got some busy guys back here. You got some, some broths cooking off in the oven. You got them on the flat top. You got onions cooking. A little bit of everything everywhere. So <laughs> we get in here about an hour ahead of time to get, to get everything going. Then we top it off with our nice little special sauce right there. Oh, yeah. And it's, if you like a Reuben, this is our Reuben Toshin right there. All right, Reuben Toshin, worse than Toshin. Okay, you got to pick one. Last bite you can have out of the tube, and which one are you going for? My, my favorite is the Reuben Toshin, but 90% of the people here, the favorite is the uh, Worsen Toshin. How many of these do you think you sell during Worst Fest? We had 5,000 Worsen Toshins last year, and I think it was about 12 to 1,800 Reuben Toshins last year. That's crazy. I mean, there's a reason for it. You are you have a really good location right here, right at the front. You ready to take a bite with me? Absolutely. All right, so you said the Reuben's your favorite. Yes. All right, so you can go for that one. All right. I'm going to go for the Worsen Toshin. And look at that, absolutely loaded up, just like you said. Busting out the front like that. All right, Jimmy, you ready? Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Mm. Oh. That's hot, bro. <laughs> Loaded up, big flavor. The onions and the peppers, that's the way to do it. My goodness. You got a new item out here on the menu. What is it? We looked out for the kids. We didn't have the kid menu kind of thing, so we looked for a worst dog. Uh, we had found out in Austria and Germany. Uh, that seems to be the big thing that they're walking around, walking around. So, so you got a little tool here. A little tool that pops it in there. And then you want the mustard. On the inside? On the inside. What? And then you add your sausage in there, a hot dog. And there you go. I'm going to let you try this one out. This looks like a little shoe. Look at this, like a little sandal. I like this thing. What do you think about it? Here, gonna, are you going to host the show yes, now? Yeah, I'll host the show. I'll let you try it. All right, here we go. This is amazing. I love it because it's not messy. Now, for people to find out more information about the downtown New Braunfels Rotary, where do they go? Uh, go to our website, downtown New Braunfels Rotary. Uh, you'll have the different events that's on there. Uh, you can look it up. You can find different people. Our officers are listed there. If you have questions, we have meetings once a week. Jimmy, thank you so much for your time. Here's Melbo. Come on out here to Warp Fest. You gotta try the worst in Tasha, the Reuben Tasha out here with the downtown New Braunfels Rotary. Now, we got a lot more food to eat out here at Worst Fest. We're gonna keep walking around and stay tuned for the giveaway happening in the second half of the show. All right, All right. Bros, bros, bros. Oh, oh. If 
it ain't dripping, it's dripping. Let's throw it out. Today on Taste of Texas with Shiner Bach Beer, we're in New Braunfels at Krause's Cafe and Beer Garden for their meter, wiener, and leaders. That's right, this is a meter-long hot dog sourced locally from in New Braunfels from Randy Rust's Meat Market, and the bread is from Uwe's Bakery. And in the inside, French fries, sauerkraut, bell peppers, and then you got the mustard sauce and the Thousand Island dressing on there. Wash it all down with an Oktoberfest Shiner beer. Absolutely delicious. Comes out with peppers, too. It's the perfect bite. And the beers. And then you can also get the Reuben sandwiches. Slow roasted pork shanks, large pretzels with the beer sauce. Go check them out. Krause's Cafe and Beer Garden, a great spot to stop when you're visiting for Worst Fest. Joining us right now is Abram Hernandez, and he's here with the New Braunfels Little League. And Abram, who's with you here today? Uh, I got a little Joseph here with me today. He's my son. All right, Joseph, we're going to talk to you here in a second. Now, the New Braunfels Little League makes these right here, pork chop on a stick. This is one of the items you have to try when you come out here. Now, Abram, how many of these do you think you sell at one run here at Worst Fest? Uh, probably about 6,000 a shift. So a shift is like 9 to 4, 9 to 5, and then, then from 5 to 12 could be 7,000. In, in one day? In one day, so yeah. <laughs> Y'all like, like your pork chop on a stick, man. Yeah, it's a big staple here in, in Worst Fest, so I mean, you can't get enough of it. So, yeah. And this thing's marinated, grilled on the flat top, comes out with the roll on the bottom, and I tell you what, it, it is substantial right here. Look at all that you get. Big flavor, lots of like flavor on there. Give me a secret. What, what are you guys using in the marinade? Uh, unfortunately, I can't give you all the secrets or anything like that, uh, but I can tell you it does marinate for 24 hours. Okay? Ah, okay. 24 hours. Uh, we have cooks that have been doing this for a long time. Yep. Um, a lot of a lot of this goes into the recipe. So. And when you buy one of these pork chop on a stick out here at Worst Fest, it goes back to support the New Braunfels Little League. And you guys have a huge accomplishment that you did this year, right? Yes. Yeah, so for the first time in league history, uh, our junior team actually went to the Junior World Series this year. So and they placed top three. Yes, top three. So they actually, uh, the last game, they, they beat Canada and they got third place. So yeah. That's awesome. crazy. Well, congratulations. And to all the kids that are on the team too, congratulations to you. And this is huge because everything that goes back, that's the reason for the season out here at Wars Fest. It's all about the nonprofits and raising money for the community. Now, Joseph, you play baseball, is that correct? Yes. What position do you play? Catcher. You play catcher, and how old are you? 10. You're 10. Now, we just talked about this. What's your favorite food? Red laughter tail. <laughs> I love it. All right, so you got you got a good palate here, and you got a pork chop on a stick in your hand. So I tell you what, when you come out here, this booth, it's towards the end of the market plot, so make your way over here right next to Worst Hall, so you can go inside, enjoy the music, and all the festivities here, the culture of Worst Fest. But I tell you what, there's nothing like a pork chop on a stick. I don't even know any other event that has something like this. No, this is I mean, one of a kind. So this yeah, One awesome. of a kind, I love it. Yeah. Now, for kids that want to sign up, maybe they're here in New Braunfels, they want to join the Little League out here, where can they go? What's the website? So it's uh, newbraunfelslittleleague.org, and keep in mind too, everything you buy here benefits the New Braunfels Little League. So uh, our, our registration cost right now is anywhere from $75 to $185, depending on the age group. It would have been doubled that if you don't, like, you know, we don't fundraise enough. So this this is what keeps the cost down for the, the kids in New Braunfels Little League. That's huge. All right, so come support the New Braunfels Little League. Support the kids. They're all amazing. And there's different age groups, right? Absolutely. So there's ages from four years old all the way to 16 years old. And if your child has special needs, we have a program for them as well. Oh, how fantastic. That's so cool. Give me some elbow, brother. You guys are doing a great job out here. Joseph, are you ready? We're going to take a bite, you guys. All right, cheers in the middle. The pork chop on a stick. That's the bite. Super tender, packed full of flavor. Look at the inside. That is absolutely incredible. First one of the day too. This is the first one of the day. This is the first of many for me right here. I tell you what, you got the roll on the bottom just soaking up all that juicy flavor. Now, I know you can't share any secrets, but how long have you been making them? Me personally, about eight years, maybe at 10 when since I was in high school. So I've been doing it for a while. 18 years? Come on out to Warriors Fest this year, you guys. And stay tuned, we have a huge giveaway that's coming up in the show. So make sure you're ready to sign up on that and get the secret word. We got lots of trivia out here. More music to listen to as we're walking around. So much to do out here at Warriors Fest. Joseph, great job, brother. Keep it up and good luck to you. Stay tuned right here on Texas Eats. We got a lot more food to eat out here at Warriors Fest. Coming up later on Texas Eats. 
Get ready to write down the secret word and enter for your chance to win the huge Worst Fest giveaway. And next on the show, we go on a food tour to check out some of the best bites you can expect for 2024. Now, it's time for Worst Fest Trivia. What year did Worst Fest expand to its current 10-day format? Texas Eats will be right back after the break. What year did Worst Fest expand to its current 10-day format? The answer is D, 1968. Now, back to the show. Welcome back to Texas Eats. We're out here at Worst Fest 2024, and joining us right now is Cordell Bunch, and he is the 2024 president for the New Braunfels JCs. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, thank you for being here. We're excited to have you. Now, you guys got a delicious item right here that you're serving up, and it's all going back to a great cause. What is this? Yeah, that is the Brezelwurst. So that's a cheddar sausage wrapped in an artisan pretzel, and it comes with a two ounce ramekin of beer cheese, and then uh, San Antonians like to add some jalapenos to it. We got plenty of those too. Keep it spicy, baby. Look at this thing. Look it's delicious. Now talk to me about the New Brownfield JCs, the organization, what it's all about. Yeah, so we have just around 200 uh, young professionals and uh, every year for uh, 10 days we come and volunteer for close to uh, uh, 800 hours and all the all the money that we uh, we raise, we turn around and donate right back to the community. That's crazy. So talk to me about a project that you guys have done recently. Yeah, so uh, there's a handful of non-for-profits in town that uh, we've donated to. One of those being Connections. They're working on a campus and uh, they, they help a lot of at-risk youth and they're building a new shelter and a new campus, and we wrote a pretty good check to that, so we were very excited to do that. Well, thank you so much. That's yeah. huge, man. Give me some elbow for that yeah. one. Bam! This item right here, you made it sound amazing already, just talking about the quality of the pretzel, what we got going on on the side with the jalapenos. But I tell you what, I can't eat alone, brother. You got to get one, too. Yeah, yeah, I will grab one. You're going to get one? Here, we'll give it a second. Go get one yeah, real quick for us. All right, Cordell, so now we both have a bite here that we can dive into. So you got beer cheese on the side, jalapenos on mine. You're not going spicy? Yeah, I, I, not right now. I will later tonight. <laughs> you got to have maybe a couple of drinks or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, some modelos maybe. There you go. All right, so we're going to dive in. I'm going to put this right here. And then, are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm going to put the jalapeno right here on top like this. And then I'm going to dunk it. And then prost, all right? You ready? Yeah. There you go. Gross! <laughs> Bro. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Wow! Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. That's amazing. Beer cheese is super flavorful. And on the inside, the bread is nice and crunchy on the outside, tender on the inside. The sausage stuff, look at that, it's got the cheese going. Man, that is good stuff. People that want to get more involved with the New Braunfels JC's website, social media, where do they go? Yeah, go to newbraunfelsjc's.com. Yeah. And uh, the sign-up link is there. Just come check us out. Cordell, you guys are doing so much out here. We really appreciate it. So come on over here. Stand in line. You got the menu right above us. And there's a lot of great volunteers in here helping out. And make sure you got to get your pins, right? You guys that's have different right. pins. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we have two pins for 2024. It's our 90th anniversary. So we're very excited to celebrate that this year. That's crazy. 90 years. 90 years. Congratulations. All right, so come on out here, grab yourself a bite, and give back over here to the Brownfield JCs as they're giving back to the community. And you guys, we have so much more to do and see and taste here at Worst Fest, so stay tuned. we got a huge giveaway coming up later in the show. Prost. Prost. Coming up later on Texas Eats, get ready to write down the secret word and enter for your chance to win the huge Worst Fest giveaway. And next on the show, we go on a food tour to check out some of the best bites you can expect for 2024. Now, it's time for Worst Fest Trivia. What year did Worst Fest acquire Jerome Novotny's beer bottle collection? Stay tuned. The answer's coming up right after the break. Mark, what kind of deal do you have going on right now for this 2024 F-150 STX? Not just a 2024 STX. Best-selling vehicle in the world and best-selling truck in the United States for 47 years in a row. $3.99 a month on our option plan. We're gonna show you the inside, we're gonna show you the big 13-inch screen, we're gonna show you some really nice interior, and $3.99 a month on our option plan. This is a great deal. This is a wonderful truck. We actually drive one of these for the show, and we absolutely love it. So you guys gotta come out here, check out this deal, walk the lot, and go online, jordanford.com. Couldn't say it better myself. <laughs> What year did Worst Fest acquire Jerome Novotny's beer bottle collection? 
The answer is B, 1982. Now, back to the show. Now is Grossa Opa, Eric Couch, and his wife, Renee. Thank you so much for being here with us. You bet, David. Thank you for having us. Now, we actually got to talk a couple years back, and we had a lot of fun here on the show, but now we get to do it again. Grossa Opa, talk to me about this role this year for you. How fun has it been? It's been a blast. It's been a, a great year leading up to the kickoff today. It's going to be 10 days of food and fun and festivities, so it's exciting. And my job this year is just to make sure everybody's having a good time. Now, I can't do what I do without my wife holding it down and making sure that, that everything is taken care of. Because you get scatterbrained when you get busy, right? So you got to have your wife to hold it down. So, Renee, coming from your perspective, how has it been this year for you? It's been busy. I knew it was going to be, but he was the guy, the right guy to be the Spossmeister, and he was a great pick. He feels it. It's in his heart, and because of that, he was ready for the job. Now, you got to be a party animal too then, right? That's exactly right. I searched and searched for comfortable shoes. I should have done that. I definitely should have done that. Now, this year, going into the 2024 season, I mean, we're kicking it off. Opening ceremonies just happened. What's one thing that you want people to really focus on this year? Community, the food, what do you want people? So it's always the community. That's a big thing for Worst Fest. It's a homecoming for a lot of our kids and families getting together. But the other thing is just the economic impact it has to our community. And, and then the celebration of our German heritage. You know, many of our members, their families actually came over in 1845 from Braunfels and settled this area. So to be able to honor that rich tradition is really, really a big deal. It, it means a lot to us internally. You know, my favorite part about history is when you get to eat and drink history. And that's what you get to do when you come out here. So you guys got to tell me, one bite. If you had to take one last bite of anything here at Worst Fest, what are you taking? Oh, uh, well, so I'm a little biased. It would be the worst Tasha. The worst Tasha. Nice. We got to see one of those get made earlier, and I've had one every year when I come out here. All right, Renee, same question. Uh, I'm going to go with the Bratzel Worst and the German chocolate pie. Oh, nice. I like how you're going double bite. You're like, I'm not getting stuck on one. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, you guys, thank you so much for your time. I'll let you get back to it. You're a busy man. I got your pin on my hat now. Yes, you do. So how do That's people good. get your pin? So look for the feather. If you can find the feather, you'll find me, and I'm carrying lots of pins. And love to share them with you and share a little gamitli kite with you. All right, there you go. So come say hi when you see him walking around. Make sure he's doing his job, right? <laughs> Are you having fun yet? I'm having a blast uh, out here. It's working. You guys, it's we working. we have so much more to do out here at Worst Fest. It's just getting started. And stay tuned, because later in the show, we have a huge Worst Fest giveaway you're not going to want to miss. Prost! 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 Joining us now is the new brewmaster at Shiner for the Spetzel Brewery, Greg Hebner. Thank you so much for being out here with us. Thank you for having me. You got to go inside during the opening ceremonies for 2024 here at Worst Fest and tap the keg. What was that experience like for you? Uh, it was it was uh, different. I was out, out on the crowd many years, and uh, I seen Jimmy up there, and I said, you know, I'll never be up there, but one day I'm here. I'm there. <laughs> You actually have a close uh, familial tie to the Spetzel Brewery, is that correct? My father was brewmaster for 33 years. He retired in 2005, and then uh, Jimmy took over, and I was assistant brewmaster till here June when Jimmy retired. What is that like for you, going knowing that you're living in, in the footsteps of your father, like his legacy? Is that how does that feel to you? Oh, it's amazing. I, I never thought that. I never thought it would happen. You know, I started in maintenance and worked my way up and. Here it is today, Brewmaster is, is different, it's special. Now, if you had to take one last bite of any item here at Worst Fest, what would that bite be? Sausage on a stick. There you go, you're a simple man of flavor with the sausage, I love it. Well, we really appreciate you, Greg, and thanks so much for joining us out here, you guys. We're gonna keep walking around, we got a lot of bites out here, we got a lot of things to sip, a lot of fun to still be had, and I know you're a very busy man, you're, you're the man of the hour right now, out here tapping the keg. Thank you very much for your time, and we'll talk soon, okay? All right. Coming up on Texas Eats, we go on a food tour to check out some of the best bites you can expect for 2024. 
Now, it's time for Worst Fest Trivia. What year did the new Wunderbar get introduced at Worst Fest? Stay tuned. The answer's coming up right after the break. Shiner's Life Lawn Beer is refreshing, flavorful, and only 99 calories. Made with the water from Shiner's famous artesian well, brewed by Texans for Texans, because this is how Texas does life. Learn more about Shiner on Texas Eats Saturdays at 10 a.m. on KSAT 12. What year did the new Wunderbar get introduced at Wurstfest? The answer is C, 2019. Now, back to the show. Welcome back to Texas Eats. We're back out here at Worst Fest 2024, and we're right next to the entrance where there's a big brown building, and below it is the Stelzen Plots, a big market where you could walk around and go shopping, buy goods, just like this hat and these socks right here. And we're gonna walk around the market. We're also gonna go check out all these food trucks that are right off to the side, and check out all the different hits that they have. So let's walk around and see what they got. This is a fresh hand-dipped corn dog. I got the mustard on the outside. They got ketchup, but who puts ketchup on there, right? It's just mustard. Here we go, that's the bite. Great breading, great hot dog. You gotta love it. It's a classic corn dog. Let's keep getting some more bites. Out here at the Spud Ranch truck, you can get something called a tater dog, and you can get it in a variety of seasonings. This one has garlic parm and Cajun seasonings on it. And look, it's loaded up. You got potatoes on the outside, and then you got the hot dog going right up the middle. So if you want a little bit of both worlds, this is the one to try. Here we go, take the bite. This is amazing. The flavor is really good. The seasoning is just covered all over it. And then the tender hot dog in the middle, that is like super hot. It really does add a good balance. This is really fun. It's a, it's a crazy bite, but it's fun. By all of the trucks off to the side of Wordsfest, there's also a Canyon Cougar marching band and color guard group funnel cake truck that you gotta come out here and support. Go Cougs! I went to Canyon, so you gotta support. Now you can get it with a variety of toppings. I went for a cherry strawberry blend. You have the powdered sugar and you have the cinnamon on there. And just look how beautiful the color is on the bottom. And it looks awesome. Loaded up. And I'm just gonna try to grab a little bit of this thing. Look at that, super steamy. It's been sitting out for a while too. My goodness, that looks delicious. There we go. That's a funnel cake, y'all. Great job. That is delicious. You can walk around and get turkey legs out here in the carnival section as well. They also have bacon-wrapped hot dogs, and you can also get sausage on a stick over here. But the one to get right next to the turkey leg stand is right here, fried Oreos. And you have the option to get it loaded up with powdered sugar, whipped cream on top with chocolate syrup. This is the way to do it. You go to any event here in Texas, any kind of fair, you know they're gonna have fried Oreos, and this thing looks hot. I don't know, might be too hot to take a bite, but here we go. Absolutely delicious. I mean, it doesn't get much better than a fried Oreo. It's just such a classic bite. Now, there's so much more to do over here and get all the different food, but we're gonna walk around the market and see what they got for sale. Inside of the Stells and Plots, there's a variety of things that you can get when you're here. Lots of different shops. There's cheese samples. You can get gourmet nuts. There's also places to get hats, like we mentioned earlier. The socks that we were talking about earlier. You can get sweaters, all kind of merchant swag, all about Worst Fest. And of course, you could walk around. There's also steins representing different cultures and different celebrations from different years. So you can go walk around. Lots of different shops. Come check it out down here if you want to get something that you want to bring home or give it as a gift for Christmas. Coming up on Texas Eats, we go on a food tour to check out some of the best bites you can expect for 2024. Now, it's time for the Worst Best Secret Word Giveaway. The first two letters are P and R. Scan the QR code now and follow the rules on the post to enter for your chance to win. Prost!
Today on Taste of Texas with Shiner Bach Beer, we're in New Braunfels at Lost and Found, the new two-story bar and grill right next to the Comel River. And this place is serving up great sandwiches, pretzels, deviled eggs, and this view is spectacular. And downstairs, they have a great bar, lots of TVs, and they use a Shiner Beer batter for their chicken. And this sandwich is so delicious, a double cheeseburger as well, fries seasoned up, and you got all that steamy cheese on there. That burger is outstanding. And that spicy chicken sandwich is where it's at. Wash it all down with an ice cold Shiner beer. Lost and found in New Braunfels. Go check them out. Welcome back to Texas Eats. We're exploring all the different bites out here at Worst Fest 2024. And joining us right now is Alex Graf, AKA Mama Schnitzel. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for having me, David. I appreciate it. Now you've made right here, one of the craziest bites that we've seen out here at Worst Fest because schnitzel is such a beloved item here in from the German culture and surrounding countries. And you've made right here one that has the Jaeger gravy on the side, and then you have lemons on the side and you serve it chicken and pork, is that correct? Yes, I do. And this is actually a chicken and we've given them a choice because you know what? Choice is good and food on the stick is the best. It's absolutely the best way to travel here at this event. Now, you have some side items over here. What do you recommend? What goes on top? Normally, all you do is you just squeeze that little bit of a lemon on top of your schnitzel and that's all you do. And then the gravy is just some people just love having gravy. But on a stick, you got to dip it in or scoop it on there. But if you do a dinner, you can have it on your fries with the dinner as well. Why cooking schnitzel? I'm from the Netherlands and we cook schnitzel in the Netherlands as well, not as good as in Germany and Austria. We had a German restaurant for many, many years. When it was time to move on to do the food truck concept and they called it Schnitzel Giggle. Well, we couldn't take that because that's beer fest. So we decided, well, how about schnitzels and giggles? I love it. Now we got to dive into this thing. I'm going to put some lemon on this thing covered in this Jaeger gravy and I'm going to go in for a bite. This right here, schnitzel on a stick, the chicken, that's a bite. Wow. It is definitely worth standing in line. This has to be right now, 2024. This is my top bite. Right. Alex, you rock. Thank you so much for having us out here. Welcome. You guys come out here, get the schnitzel on a stick. There's a reason why the line is so long. It's delicious. Get the gravy, load it up how you want it. We're going to keep walking around Worst Fest. We have so many more bites. And of course, don't forget to enter the big giveaway we got going on right now on the show. Pros, we're going to keep eating and a lot more out here at Worst Fest coming up. Coming up on Texas Eats, we go on a food tour to check out some of the best bites you can expect for 2024. Now, it's time for the Worst Best Secret Word Giveaway. The second set of letters are E and T. Scan the QR code now and follow the rules on the post to enter for your chance to win. Bros. San Antonio has been the heart of authentic Mexican flavor for generations. And at AFCO Brand Meats, we're proud to continue that tradition. Our recipes, perfected over decades, bring the rich, bold taste of true chorizo to your table, made fresh right here in Texas. From our family to yours, every bite is packed with flavor, premium ingredients, and history. AFCO Brand Meats, available at your local grocery store. Share how you use AFCO Chorizo at home by scanning the QR code on the screen. Welcome back to Texas Eats. We are wrapping up our time here at the Worst Fest 2024 food tour. And joining us right now is Travis Taylor from the Rotary Club here in New Braunfels. And Travis, you're a committee chair with the Rotary Club. Now, talk to me about this year's initiatives, things that you guys have done and accomplished for 24 and things you got going on for 25. Sure, so last year uh, we raised about $200,000 uh, gross for charities here locally in New Braunfels. And so we hope to exceed that this year. We're doing some things different this year. Um, of course, well, we raise prices a little bit, but we've also started selling water, which has been popular so far, we figured today. Um, so, you know, we raise this money and we, we, we uh, give back throughout the year to various charities in the community. 
um, through grant process. So our, we have committee members that receive those grants and, and, and really study them and allocate money throughout the year. This is our biggest fundraiser. We have another fundraiser in the spring, uh, the Hill Country Craft Beer Festival, but this by far is, is the biggest. We hope to raise two hundred fifty dollars to $275,000 gross this year. Just from Worst Fest? Just from Worst Fest, the 10 days of Worst Fest. Man, y'all love potato pancakes, $275,000. My goodness. That's great, though, because it all goes back to such a wonderful cause. You guys do such a great job. Now, right behind us is the magic, and that's what's happening. So this is actually where it gets blended right here, is that correct? Yeah, so we start, everything's fresh, right? So we, we start over here with, 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 the, with, the, with the seasoning and the raw ingredients, and then they go in a mixer here uh, with the potatoes. From here, they go into a cooler, and then you'll see here the batter boxes where these guys are um, scooping out here on here. we got a starter. The first person starts and kind of levels the pancake, and he or she shoves them down. They come off the griddle, serve out, the, out there, and then, of course, we've also got sausage that's been pre-cooked and heated and out the door, and um, that's the process. So, I mean, everything's fresh. Everything is made from scratch, and all, none of these people are professionals. We're all volunteers, uh, but we come together for this 10 days, and it's pretty amazing. It's, as you can see, it's a big operation. You're a professional at the end of this event, right? And then you come back the next year and you do it again. That's right, that's right. So, <laughs> so it, 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 a little rusty, you know, you gotta kinda knock the dust off here in the beginning today as it being the first Friday, but I mean, it's truly a machine. Now, we were here last year, and we got to see you kind of holding it down. You made some for us, and you got the whole process set up. And again, this year, like you said, you got a well-oiled machine. You guys know what you're doing out here. So how does it feel to be a part of the Rotary Club making the potato pancakes? Well, we're having a heck of a lot of fun while we're doing it. We blare the music, you know, have some beverages, and it's just really amazing to see how every walk of life is here. I mean, everything, I'm taking the boxes out, I mean, washing dishes, cooking sausage. I mean, it's, it's just, it's pretty cool. So we have a lot of fun. I tell you what, the most fun for me right now is going to be taking a bite of these potato pancakes. So you guys actually have a plate set up. We're going to take a bite. And this one comes out with powdered sugar, cinnamon. You also have applesauce on the side, and then it gets the sausage on there as well, right? Yeah, and some people like sour cream and do more of a, a savory approach and uh, mustard, different condiments, ketchup. Some people like ketchup. So We want sweet, like we want sweet on this one. There you, go, there you go. That's right. All right, let's get the plate and take a bite. This is the plate right here, loaded up, applesauce on the side, dunk it in. All right, Travis, go for yours. Cheers to you, sir. Roast. 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 Sausage on the side. Roast to you, sir. It doesn't get much better than this. This is delicious. Now, for people to get more information about the Rotary Club, is there a website, social media, where do they go? Oh, that's done. Now you're tripping me up. <laughs> Travis, thank you so much. And you guys, to get more information about the New Braunfels Rotary Club, of course, just go online, search for them, go on their social media. They're doing a lot of great things in the community. We got applesauce, we got cartoffel poofers right here. So we got a lot of great bites. And coming up, we got the last letters for the giveaway. So stay tuned right here on Texas Eats. And we're gonna keep having some more fun eating more of these potato pancakes. My goodness, they're delicious. Now, it's time for the Worst Best Secret Word Giveaway. The third set of letters are Z and E. Scan the QR code now and follow the rules on the post to enter for your chance to win. Pros. Freddie, you're telling me you can get brisket, pork ribs, chicken, sausage, and turkey, plus all the sides, all you can eat for only $27.99? That's right, David. Texas De Willie Smokehouse is the only place in and around San Antonio where you can get all you can eat brisket, ribs, chicken, sausage, turkey, and all the sides for just $27.99. With two locations in and around San Antonio, one in China Grove and one off South Sazamota, come out to Texas D. Willie Smokehouse. It's stupid good. <laughs> Now, it's time for the Worst Best Secret Word Giveaway. The last letter, have you figured it out, is L. Scan the QR code now and follow the rules on the post to enter for your chance to win. Prost! Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Texas Eats. And to get more information about Worst Fest, just head to our website, TexasEatsTV.com, where we have a story link back to the article. And of course, don't forget to follow us on social media at Texas Eats TV, where you can go on there and enter now for your chance to win the huge Worst Fest giveaway. And don't forget to join us every Saturday at 10 o'clock in the morning and 11 o'clock at night, right here on KSAT 12, because this is how you spread the fun at Worst Fest.
Here we go. Quiet, please. Oh, it's coming back. Oh, it's going down. No, no. Joining us now is Tim Galita. He's the Chief People Officer out here at Pop Show. Thank you so much for having us. Happy to be here. Thanks for coming. This is a beautiful day to be out here. And I got to tell you, the food out here, it looks rocking, great bites, but it's all about the putt-putt. So talk to me about the inspiration behind Pop Stroke. Yeah, Pop Stroke is a new miniature golf entertainment facility. Uh, we have two 18-hole miniature golf courses that are uniquely designed for this property only. We've got a playground for kids and an amazing bar and restaurant. And that's what we got right here in front of us. We have three refreshing cocktails from behind the bar, different bites that you can get depending on your hunger level, right? Because you got some starter bites. You also got the burger right here that looks amazing. Now, I want to talk about these guys right here because these are grilled chicken wings. Uh, it's all fresh, cooked in-house, a la carte, and it's super tasty. Cheers to you. Cheers. Wow, good way. Right here in the front, you said these chicken tenders are where it's at. I throw my money on the line, best tender around. Wow, that's big talk, Tim. I'm it is big talk. That. All right, the honeycomb mustard. And it actually has a light breading, but it's really crispy. Comes, that sauce is crazy. Tim, what's going on with this one right here? We have some delicious ahi tuna nachos over here. That's fresh ahi tuna, sliced jalapenos, fresh avocado, a little mango on top for some sweetness. Super fresh, super crispy. That's really, really nice. It's, ref it's refreshing. In the back, you have three different tacos right here. And it's using flank steak. Yeah, that's our Korean beef taco. Nice tortilla, steak seared really nicely with some fresh pico de gallo. I right, put some lime on top. I'm gonna go for this guy. This is loaded. Cheers, the taco. Damn, that's a great bite. A Little bit of heat, mellowed out by the coleslaw on the bottom. Well, you got a smash burger on the menu too. The secret is in the sauces. We have a homemade burger sauce and a really delicious bacon jam on there. Oh, I mean, bacon jam is where it's at. Here we go. That is delicious. The bacon jam is really, really good. Now, you gotta save room for dessert because you actually have ice cream that you're serving up here and you're making shakes out of them as well, right? 24 flavors of ice cream. We got delicious milkshakes. And if you wanna get wild and crazy, we can throw some booze in there and make a nice boozy shake for you. This is our mint condition shake. It's got mint Oreo ice cream, nice little piece of mint on top. And here's our boozy one, tequila dreaming. Three different cocktails as well. And of course, ice cold beer, giraffe from behind the bar. And I love over here, you have an area where the kids can go play. So kids can hang out, parents can hang out. And it's not just the putt-putt. You also have other games that you could play when you're here too. There's screens everywhere that's super entertaining, but if you want to leave, you got to go somewhere, you can actually come back the same day and play again, right? Yeah, what we offer is a day pass. So it gives you unlimited golf to all 36 holes as much as you like. There's a lot of other bites on the menu, including a giant nacho dish that you have to try for the whole family, but I got to get some putt-putt in right now. Are you ready, Tim? Of course, let's do it. All right, let's do it. You know what, it's a lot of fun out here. Bring the whole family, there's so much to do. And of course, to find out more information, where can people go? Go to the website, popstroke.com. And of course, follow you on social media, right? Social media, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, absolutely. I love it. All right, Tim, thank you so much. Thanks, David. I'm gonna drink a couple more beers. Maybe I'll get better, who knows? But we got a lot more coming up right here on Tech Disease.